Hello everybody and welcome back to Time Walk. We're playing Undercroft. And today we're heading into the deep dank caves of this forest. Or something. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're prepared. So, uh, let's go. Ominous music starts playing. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, that's a big rat. This it dropped rat meat, which I believe... Yeah, very nice food. We have the wounded dog still with us. That can't be good for the poor bugger. Uh, very interesting... Doors in this place. Or tomb desk. Ah, okay, bone grave. You don't appear to have ranged attacks, because you're carrying a sword and a shield. So, we'll just wait for you to get closer. Ow. He doesn't deal too bad damage, that's cool. Uh, serpent vest, let's see here. Yeah, let's just beef up our summoner for now, I think. It will all balance out in the end. Uh, the warrior has enough health to sustain some injuries anyways. Okay, they really aren't too strong, these enemies. Okay, some resistances. Might not even they look stronger than they are. Yeah, they look very scary. That did something. Oh, hi there. Almost ran straight into you. Okay. That's a shield, unmistakably. Uh, let's equip that to the warrior, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay, we have some sort of medical field here, probably a teleport. So let's explore around first. Ah, hello there. Miss. On both of them, are they immune to some sort of magic? Yeah, apparently so. Frost magic doesn't affect them. Unless we just got extremely unlucky twice. Not really sure. But one thing's for sure, there are a lot of skeletons in here. We'll make a skeleton army out of these bones. Bone economy is strong in this one. Okay. Zero. Oh yeah, you're transformed. You don't have any flame resistance. Uh, I'll take this. Oh, she's! Floor she's! Yeah, floor she's. Okay. Uh, weapons... I mean, yeah, I, I, I like this more. Okay. You get only 1% stunter, stun right? Yeah, 1% is not a lot. No. I'm actually wondering if maybe our warrior can use bows as well. Yeah, he can. Oh, most of them can, okay. So what's special with the assassin then? I can't really remember. I guess they have their own unique weapons and stuff. Higher chance of hitting, maybe? Perhaps. Uh, what what else was I thinking of doing? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's actually make some skeletons. So we drop four bones on the ground, and we raise them all up. Cool. I do still remember that four is the maximum amount of summons we can have in this game. At yes. least 
when it comes to skeletons. I think maybe yeah. you can combine it with other summons as well. Uh, okay, Bone Braves, prepare to make meet your brethren, I guess. Oh my god, the skeletons hit so hard. And now sadly we can't heal skeletons, which kind of makes sense since they're already yeah. dead. Uh, but that's fine, we can always replenish them and swap them with new skeletons. Look at this, the party size increased from 4 to 8. It's a party old, right? Uh, locked door. Okay, so the dungeon layouts are still quite simple. Stone you teleported to before. Yep. So we have a fast way back to the town if we for some reason need to go there. Now, unfortunately one of the skeletons have died. That's a heck of a shield. Whoa. And sword. Those are both yeah. amazing. Sadly we have an axe master though. Yes, but that's fine. The other party members can use shields and swords as well. Okay, who has the most strength? I think that would be the priest, or maybe the summoner. I think the summoner still gains the benefits of the weapons when they transformed. Uh, pretty cool in that case. Let's do this. Uh, this requires five strength. Okay. Let's uh, give it here. You can have. And somebody uh, else can have the other. Yeah. Alrighty. There's nothing else here, right? It doesn't appear to be. Okay. I believe we're heading back to the teleporter. Or what we assume to be a teleporter. And indeed it is. Where are we now? What? And rat. It's a one-way teleporter as well, apparently. Skeleton. That's a lot of experience. Who's falling okay. behind on experience? Uh, yeah, for some reason, both the mage and the summoner seems to be in need of experience. So that's. Uh, I'm raising my summoner. I know what I want. Okay, let's give her some stronger transformations as well. Uh, yeah, very cool. The summoner is kind of kind kind of a good class economically, since she only uses uh, uh, mana for racing and stuff and transforming. Yeah, transforming, yeah. Yeah, so it's very very economical. We did get a key uh, from somewhere. I'm unsure of where it leads, but we haven't looted this room yet. It seems. So let's do that. Gold! Okay, another button. That opens the secret door next to us. Start to get rich again. Yeah. Rich or just kind of wealthy. More trophies that we can sell. And a bunch of medicine. Medicine. Okay. Uh, it would appear we have cleared this area, so let's head out and, you know what, let's go fight that demon thing in the the other cave as well. I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling tough. Let's use this overconfidence and... Did you find it? Uh, no spoilers. We did not find the brother at all in there, oh, I think. Oh, three skeletons! Yes, three skeletons! Praise be to the bone economy! Um, okay, we have some other weapons. Let's just equip this cap and pick someone. Uh, you can and you can cap. Everyone gets caps. You're about to encounter a fire demon behind this passage. Fire demons are very resistant to physical damage and are immune to fire. Make sure you have some cold spells or a weapon with cold damage. 
Don't worry, game. I got you. That's quite nice. Uh, they are being extremely careful in the early game to not... Now the question is... Do these old skeletons get stronger when I level up the summon? I, I don't think they do. I think I'll, I'll need to raise new skeletons to take their, their place. Uh, let's go ahead and drop two of those, because one of the skeletons is quite low on HP. And then we do a bit of racing. There we go. At least two of the skeletons should be pretty strong now. Beast ability, we have an ice weapon that I hope deals ice damage still when evolved. We're about to find out. Uh, some mana would be preferable. Stock up on berries. <laughs> There's a huge difference in uh, maximum stamina in your party. Okay. Um, we'll be fine. Let's just do this. Ah, I see the fire demon. <laughs> now, we still have the chance to run for our lives. Let's have a quick save. And thankfully, he comes to us. I should have used that turn to buff the party. Whatever. Let's uh, get to... Uh, Bashing butts. And Doesn't let's quite look transform. Like it's buffing this I thought it did. Okay, it still uses the same weapon. I'm not sure if he can even get frozen, this guy, but. So far, no luck with freezing him. That was an extremely. Lucky thing that we survived. Hang on, now that we have already used our turn, what happens if I eat? Okay, this is a bit of an exploit, maybe. Since you can still he heal after ha having done your attacks. Uh, well, this was a piece of cake. I say, I can't even finish it. There we go. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Gems and horns and the ring, ring of energy. I'm starting to consider if we should maybe spread out our mana enhancing items a bit. I think the priest might enjoy some maximum mana as well. With all the healing we're doing. Okay. Very nice. And best thing of all. None of our skeletons died. Yeah, quite nice. Even a bone economy. Okay. Uh, yeah, what else is there to do here? Let's have a quick look for the woods. Some sort of area over here. Aha! Multiple areas even. Let's see how much damage these guys deal. Quite a lot. Poisoned. That's quite annoying. I did have antidotes, but I think we're fine. Could do with some healing in this. It does lack some poison resistance, but it does have a lot of health, so it's probably fine. Yeah, I'm not really sure how else to give him resistances right now, except for maybe raising his stats. Uh, Did you have any poison resistance hits? I don't think I've used that key already. Uh, maybe I missed something in the other dungeon. We'll have a look. Okay. Ouchie. That poison might be an issue. Yeah. Uh, will it 
hit me when I attempt to perform my turn. No, it's between turns, okay. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Red. Okay, spider down! And our reward is access to this house. here. An old woman went out as we approached the cottage. Oh, thanks to all saints that someone has come. Those terrible spiders were keeping around my house for days. Creeping, even. I couldn't go out at all. Maybe I'm really told to live here in the woods. I ought to move to town with my niece. Please take these things as a small reward for your bravery. Right, we completed the Unti quest. And we have a Porsche poison resistance ring. I think I know who's getting that one. Okie dokie. Oh, it's also fire resistance. Go for which they like. We have a bunch of stuff to sell, so let's head to town. It's a very small random. Are gems just currency, or can you use it somehow? Uh, gems are just uh, tokens that you sell. Okay. Just rewards. Um, okay. Let's get to the next museum. That's the wrong button. Okay, okay. Setting all of these. Just cleaning up the inventory a bit. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought that was the house there. Apparently not. He's setting some pretty cool stuff, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Okay, okay. <laughs> so whistling. the hunter boy. Huh? You found him! This is fabulous! Take this crossbow of mine. It's a very good weapon and I hope it will serve you well. Damn, okay. Is the crossbow like a... Ah, it needs dexterity. It has a chance to crit apparently, or double damage as it's called, and... Yeah, whatever. Uh... And it does quite a lot of damage. Yep, that's a pretty cool weapon. Let's just keep it around for now. And let's see if we have any other quests we need to hand in. The brother. Uh, messenger. And a fire demon. Yeah. Uh, Nimblor. Yeah, who's that? That's the woman over somewhere. Yeah, you. <gasps> Oh, have you been to the cave cycle here? People say the fine demon demon lives there and kills anyone who enters the cave. It wasn't really a cave. We stepped through like a rock with a hole in it, but then we ended yeah. up in a piece of forest again. I already finished the demon. Wow, you truly are a brave hero. Experience. Yeah, that's what we're all about. It looks like you get maximum health and stamina again when you level up, so that's pretty nice. Moral, is that useful? Sure, uh, could just make him extremely beefy. Or the resist resistance uh, passive as well is quite nice. Yeah, can we get that now? Yes, oh, it's good to walk. regeneration! Regenerate stamina for each slayed enemy. That's pretty cool, but we can't really start getting it yet. Yeah, um, one more no, two more Whatever, we'll do this. 
That's probably fine. It's pretty strong to get two in all resistances there. Yeah, depending on how much a point of resistance actually does for you, I guess. By experience? Nope, it's expensive. Okay. I think we're all out of quests. We have the brothers still, yeah, let's go uh, take care of that. But then I think we're ready to head out to the next area. Hey there. Oh, thank Faruk. Okay. Uh, we're back in the caves. Where could we possibly have missed a locked door? There's a route to the north, it seems. Let's go have a look. Yeah, here it is. Ah. That explains a bit. Okay. Um. Is. Oh. Just might be a hard enemy. Peekaboo! Yeah. I like that when you open and close the doors, the yeah. enemies get a turn to move around. Okay. We have a shield and some meat. And a very nice protective mantle that I think we already. Did we buy one of those already? Well, Let's not exactly. Okay. The same, but... We've made our. Seem incredibly tanky now. Uh, these boots give frost resistance. I mean, all of them will do by this point, apparently. Requires 5 strength. How much strength are we at? I would like to give you more strength. Please level up. Okay. More bones. It's looking very good for the bone economy. We're stocking up on bones in this early dungeon because I'm not really well, sure how many bones yeah. we'll run into in the next area of the game. Okay. <laughs> Skeletons are. Surprisingly strong, actually. Oh. Might have been a waste to hit him. Oh my god, the skeletons just outright killed that other guy. Okay. This is a lot bigger than I suspected. We, are, we have quite a bit of a maze here. We'll see. You feel a weak draft from the south. There must be an open area behind the wall. But where's the door? Yeah, there, where's the door indeed? Button, there we are. Ouch. No! The skeleton! It died. No. Leather armor. An upgrade. Okie dokie. All the doors are locked. Marvelous. Okay. Aha! Another frost sword. Those are incredibly nice. it would be a waste to not give it to the warrior even though he's an axe expert. How much extra damage does he deal with the axe? Oh, that's quite a lot of damage actually. Okay, here. 
We'll figure it out. Oh no. Do I sense a puzzle? Please tell me those didn't affect the doors in the other room as well. There are quite a lot of remains in here, I hope. Yeah. Well, there were disappearances in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just what the, the, the brother we're searching for in the quest is still alive. Okay, this leads somewhere, but I think this is another one of the one-way teleports, right? Ah, well. <laughs> Frozen Tomb Master. Yeah. I'm assuming frost damage won't do much against that one. Appears he can freeze people. Turns. Four turns. Ouchie. Now, because our frozen team member leveled up, yeah. it kind of doesn't seem that you have to actually hit things to level up. Well, there are several factors to leveling up. Now this man is killing off all of our skeletons, but that's fine. Well, not all of them were leveled up skeletons, I have to sign right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, look at him go! He's freezing everyone, left, right and center. He's really strong. I'm right now wondering if frost resistance actually makes it so you don't get frozen as much, or if it's just like damage reduction. Or maybe both. <sighs> maybe it's both. Oops. Warden is dead. I should have healed. Well, everyone's busy being either dead or low on HP. Let's do that. And then let's heal. Okay, finally. Band of Shadows. That's an assassin item. Now this is a maze. Damn, though, that's a lot of damage. And stun chance. It's a. Uh, chance to do a lot of damage, it can also hit very badly. Yeah, we won't be able to use this. Okay, let's just uh, revive well, this guy. 150 gold at least. Breath. Seems fine. Okie dokie. Let's actually increase our healing proficiency a bit. Okay. Uh, didn't you want to one point your strength for her? That's fine. Okay. She get there eventually. Yeah. I just want to remind you since you wanted. Yeah. Uh, we have used the key. Can I use it over there as well?
I forgot to raise more skeletons. Okay, let's actually go ahead and raise some more skeletons. Wow, he has nine too, isn't it? You are the wrong character. And you have no mana. I was about to say, what happened to all the sheets? We have sheets here. We have sheets at home. Sheets at home. Very good. Uh huh. Is that experience? One extra skill point. That's useful. How much strength did you say you had? Four. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, okay. Hmm. A small shield. Wait, they have two of those clubs on that? Okay. What is this? The max SP. I think we can do without the 4% boost to that. That seems fine. Come on, so we... Did we have a choice here? Yeah, Which key to yeah. use? Not really sure. Uh, but yeah, it turns out this is a lot bigger than I first thought. Yeah. Uh, we won't be coming through there. So let's step into the teleporting. Ouch. Well, this is... Not really fair. Um, yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, the false damage increases the spell points. It's not too bad of an increase. Okay. Uh, let's go this mode. Now, I don't think it matters which way we're turned here. Let's just try to absolutely nuke something with the skeletons. Maybe this guy. Yep, that worked. <laughs> uh, that must have been out. Uh, an airplane went over here. Let's see. Okay, that was a very good first turn. And we're free to move. Surrounded no more. Well, I mean, technically. Whoa, they hit both of them? That's cool. So the skeletons actually don't waste their DPS if they overkill Quite something. Yeah. They hit the next target instead. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is skeleton party. <laughs> Poof. It's gone. Poof. Are you having rat, rat infestation problems? Our skeletons can do the job. Skeletons and the rats are gone. Is that everything here? Nope. You've done. Oh, it's just a shortcut back here. So what was the point? Was that uh, the two way to the Yeah, apparently. Yeah, it opened this door. Okay, let's go through here. If we've been there. Let's pull this as well. Now we've pulled basically every last switch we've found. Does that change anything? Weren't any of these doors locked before? I think we've been everywhere. 
except through the other door down here, which we don't have a key for. Uh, okay. Might you have missed a loot or something? I'm really not sure. Uh, Ah, there's a door over there. Yeah, okay. Back in the <coughs> Macy bit. Boop, boop, boop. And we haven't really gone this way either. Ah, okay, it loops around. Ah, there you are. Ah, don't kill me! Wait, you're not a ghost skeleton? Oh, lucky me. I thought I'd rot in here forever. I hope you've cleared the way out so I actually have a chance to run out before the monsters infest the place again. Here, take this key. Maybe it leads to some treasure. You can keep it. I don't want it anymore. Okay. That would have been nice to get earlier. But we'll hurry up and get that treasure and exit the cave and then we'll end the episode there. Okay. Quite a proper dungeon this. Uh, let's use the tank walker back, I guess. Okay, okay. There we are. Boom. Now oh, let's get some nice loops. And some poster. Hold up. Let's read that. Proof of heroism. The owner of this paper has entered and explored the spooky ancient dungeon northeast from Dunhill. That's very odd. Doesn't really seem like a proper in universe thing, but whatever. It works. Uh, let's just get rid of some stuff here. Now sadly there's no way to like change party members down the line, so we'll never get to experience the assassin place time. But maybe another time, who knows. Okay. We'll keep our branding. I guess so, whatever. Why not? Okay. Do we still have the brothers done? Okay, that's all quests. So we'll finish this episode here, and next time we'll head east towards more dangers and adventure. Huh. Anyone could say that. All I know is that you collected a couple of chickens. Not a very heroic deed in my eyes. Do you have any proof of your skill and experience? Yes. We have a merchant's letter. Wait. That's not right. There it is. Yes, we have this conven conveniently adventuring proof of heroism poster. Well, well, not exactly what I expected, but it will suffice. Okay, I'll open the gate for you. And this is where we'll end the episode. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time on Time Vault.